Hello, everybody from London, and hello, Micah in New York. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us on this webinar this morning, this afternoon, this evening, wherever you are in the world. Uh, for those that haven't joined one of the, the English Manners webinars before using this uh, platform, let me just explain a little bit of housekeeping uh, so you know what to do. Uh, on the right hand side of your screen is the chat. Uh, tab. So anything that you type in that chat tab is visible by Micah and by me and by anybody that is connected to this webinar and so many who's saying hello uh, already, which is uh, wonderful. Hello to you all. Uh, you also on the right hand side, you can toggle between the chat and the questions tab. Now, anything that you type in the questions tab is private. Only Micah and I can see that. So if you have a question that you don't want to ask in front of others, pop it in there. If you don't mind asking it in front of other people, pop it in the chat tab and that will be visible publicly. Now, if you have to go halfway through this webinar, don't panic because you will be sent a replay that will be available for 48 hours after this webinar ends. That will come to you on email. Uh, Marvellous. Well, lots of you saying uh, hello, which is, uh, which is excellent. Uh, Michael, we are talking here predominantly about etiquette and protocol and teaching it. Um, what do you love about your job? I first, what I'm loving right now is seeing people from all over the world logging in. This is so exciting. Ecuador, Lithuania, Greece. It's so amazing. And I think, I think, you know, what we do is amazing because it's applicable, it's applicable globally. I think, you know, one of the best parts of my job, I always say this is that when I, when I'm instructing, I kind of, I, I come out of a, of a course sometimes and I just have this almost natural it's like a natural um, excitement that you're able to instill confidence through etiquette. And that's essentially what we're doing. So whether you are interested in being an instructor at a children's level and you want to teach, you know, five-year-olds, five to eight-year-olds or five to 10 or teens or adults or corporate etiquette, you really leave and you feel so good because you just gave these people an entire new set of tools um, that they were really surprised to learn. Um, so I think that is the best part of my job. I think, William, we've talked about that many times, uh, but what would, what would you say? I, well, I love me, yeah, me, meeting different people. Obviously, for the last year, it's been predominantly meeting people online, uh, which is, you know, had its challenges, but is, is good. It's still a good way to connect. Um, and the fact that, you know, for me and for you, I know, Micah, this often doesn't feel like a job because we, we love what we do, we love what we teach, we have that perhaps rare quality where we go to work, but it doesn't feel like work. It feels like we're having fun like we're, we're lucky to have this as a job because we love etiquette and protocol so much as, as, as sort of slightly cringy as that sounds we do and right now when you think about it the world could really need the real world really needs and could use some you know some etiquette right now and and remember for everybody you probably all have seen us you know whether it's a webinar or a course or our books um, i think everybody knows that william and i have the same kind of ideology about etiquette that is just about respecting kindness um, that's all it truly is and we kind of have that core belief that you know that that really guides a lot of our teaching principles it's really you know etiquette is just showing respect through different protocols that's all it is um, but that being said there's so much to learn that um, you know we do it with so much passion which I think you will all see if you haven't already uh, how much we love our jobs and how we decided together that this is something that we wanted to do um, especially virtually during COVID of course but it actually turned out to be a blessing in disguise because not everybody would be able to come to London or New York or Singapore um, so I think that's the beauty right now yeah absolutely and you know as etiquette coaches and etiquette um, consultants as well as teaching one of the things that i like doing is observing change in the etiquette and and the rules and you know this the last year amongst everything else that's been going on has been very interesting from an etiquette point of view how everyone's had to adapt to conferencing from home uh, or how we greet people is completely differently and has, ha has changed in such a short space of time um, in actually something I, I haven't told you i was going to ask you Micah, but in new york 
for those that if you are out on a walk and you meet a friend, what is the sort of greeting that everybody's doing? What's the COVID secure greeting? So there, there's no handshaking whatsoever. It's, it's, you know, it's this common knowledge that to show respect to one another, we don't extend our handshakes or our hands. So what I'm seeing a lot of are people kind of holding their hands in front of them and, you know, and saying, and physically at the same time saying, I would so love to give you a handshake. I'd so love to give you a hug, whatever it may be. But I have not, I really have not had uh, been involved in a handshake, should I say, since February, probably February of last year. So, so everything from you know COVID pandemic etiquette um, to gender etiquette to you know there, there's just technology etiquette. It's, it's constantly evolving. So you we must evolve with it, um, and that's something that we when we were putting together our programming for our train the trainer program. We wanted it to be very modern, very up to date, um, and and giving you the tools that you need, no matter where you are, what culture you're in, to to teach and to teach, you know, for the next generation, not only the current the current uh, environment that we're in. Mm, absolutely, and you know, we etiquette coaches you know, have existed for for many many years, uh, even before we were were born. In in Charles Dickens, there's reference to it. There's a character in. Um, Dickens' book, Little Dorrit, who's called Mrs. General, who is in effect a, a glorified etiquette uh, tutor for, for the characters in that book. Um, but obviously etiquette tuition has certainly had a huge uh, resurgence uh, in the last five years. And in particular, thanks to I will credit Micah here, because you have changed the face of the etiquette industry for, for yeah, good. Thank you. Um, but what? let's pretend that we were existing 20 years ago. What do you think we would be or let's put it another way. How do you think etiquette tuition has changed in the last 10 or 20 years? I mean, I think, you know, it's just modernized so much. I think, you know, a lot of the, when I, I collect almost every etiquette book you, book you could imagine, I have a whole library and I often go back and reference different time periods and, and, you know the the etiquette that we were teaching in many countries including america you know women didn't really have a lot of rights in terms of you know it was you know you would only stand up if the gentleman at the table stood up and you would only walk through after the you know and it was just so many things like that which you know I just, you know, when I started Beaumont Etiquette, I said, you know, I just want to make it, I just want to continue on with my education, but I want to make it and bring it to a place that's moving forward. It's not going backwards. So I think a lot of gender um, is very, very different. I think, you know, technology etiquette didn't exist. Um, even the way that we teach, William, you and I, about addressing people, you know, there are same-sex marriages, there are, you know, there are just so many different things that you need to be aware of and conscious of pending the uh, country and culture you're in. So we we teach for everyone. We teach for today. I think we're we're quite fun about it. I think when people at least come to me at the Plaza Hotel, people come in. They're so scared. They're so nervous. They're you know think I'm going to be so sterile and and boring. And I think maybe the same William people come and they think that's what they're going to learn. And they they walk in and we're laughing. We teach in such a modern, approachable, practical way. We're not teaching you etiquette skills from 20 years ago. We're teaching you what you need to know now and what you need to teach for today. So I think that's something that's really, and we have so much fun. If you haven't already caught on, William and I have been friends and colleagues for many years now, and we just laugh all day long. So while we are teaching very formal and you know sometimes at times serious topics, we do it in a way that is fun and enjoyable, uh, but you're still getting the highest level of education. Yeah, absolutely, because you know, education and civility is terribly important, as now more than ever. But, you know, there are times where we are talking about, you know, napkins, and that's not life or death. It's not terribly serious. It's a napkin. It's terribly important, <laughs> actually. But there are sometimes bigger things that we need to worry about. So you know, hopefully Micah and I uh, do in our classes, both together and separately, are conscious of the fact that we do know what we're talking about, but also we know that sometimes there are bigger things to worry about. But what is always relevant is just being nice to people and treating people with respect, regardless of where you've put that napkin. 
Exactly. And while we do and we will, uh, whoever is part of our first graduating class of our virtual program starting in January, while we will have a lot of fun, there is a good amount of work. And you know, one thing that we discussed, and we've been creating this program for a long time, we started well over a year ago, um, and we wanted it to be unlike any other program out there in the sense that not only is it now offered virtually, um, but we, we, you know, a lot of programs you can take in a week um, and those you know we wanted something a bit different because we we really wanted the level of education to be the highest offered we wanted it to be able to you know we wanted to teach over many months we wanted you to all take in the information study the information learn it and not just memorize it to take a test to kind of graduate we wanted this to be something that you know that the best etiquette uh, instructors globally are coming out of this program and that's really important to us. So yes, it is a lot of time dedication, but the great part about the virtual is that you can do it on your own time. You can do it in between if you're you already have a job, you can do it at night, you can do it on your lunch break. Um, you know, you can do it when the kids are playing. That's the best part about I think this virtual option is that it's on your own time. And yes, we will have some live um, education as well and some recorded, so it's going to be a mix of the two, but it's, you know, all the live ones will be recorded so you can watch them as many times as you want to make it as easy and accessible for you no matter where you are or what time zone that you're in. Absolutely. Um, a couple of things that have uh, I've observed on the chat uh, section now, some questions, some uh, some points of order, as it were. Uh, a few people saying that they signed up for the brochure uh, and it hasn't yet come. I mean, I can only speak for the English Manners website, but mm -hmm. how it works on our website, you just click download course brochure, uh, pop in your name and your email, and then immediately it will give you a link. So you aren't sent anything on your email, it just then gives you the link to download. Uh, if you are still having problems, get in touch. We will give you our contact details at the end. Uh, Michael, I think it's a similar process for you. Yes, exactly. Um, it, yes. And then if, you know, I, I'll just say now, so if you are US side and it's easier for you to have somebody this side of the world to talk to, um, it, hello at beaumontetiquette.com is, um, we've got a team literally ready to answer any and all of your questions. They can resend the brochure. Um, if you're having any trouble at all, hello at Beaumont's Etiquette, and we'll get right back to you, um, same business day or maximum uh, the next morning, uh, but definitely within 24 hours. So I'm sorry if you're having any trouble, but thank you for um, letting us know. We'll look into that. Fantastic, thank you very much. Um, and, and actually someone's also said um, they've been waiting for a long time and looking uh, for a longer than a week program in in etiquette for a train the trainer, and actually, yeah, I mean a lot of a lot of organisations in any subject will offer a, a one week or five day program, and I think what you and I felt initially is it's there's more than five days worth of content. There is a lot of content, and I feel like you know I I studied for years and years, and I know William years and years and years. Um, so we really, you know, we don't want to just send people out and not, you know, them not be ready. That's, you know, if we if we are saying that you are part of our graduating class, we want to make sure that um, you feel really prepared, that you had a lot of time to absorb, learn, practice. Sometimes practice is the most important part. So we really felt like this core kind of six month program with we do have different testing systems to make sure you're you know you're absorbing the information along the way um is really really thoughtfully done and something that we're really excited to offer and we'll be with you the whole way so we're your coaches we're coaching the coaches right so uh, you know we'll always be with you no matter what you need versus you know it might be technical support or you just might have specific questions so we have all of those covered and so excited uh, to meet all of our all of our students. We've uh, a couple of people are asking um, if uh, there are any prerequisites for for joining the course, whether you have to have an existing level of knowledge or not. Um, I'm happy to to answer. Them. I'll answer first, Micah, and then and then over to you. Um, no. Basically, I mean, for English Manor, we have run a train, a shorter train, the trainer, uh, for many years. We've had people that have come to us with very little knowledge. I mean, they they're very polite, they're very courteous, but in terms of the the finer details or the backstory, the history of etiquette, or or any of the sort of psychology or practicality, they don't necessarily know know anything, but they want to learn. 
similarly, we've had people that have come to us who have run their own etiquette or soft skills training business for two or three years and, and just want to sort of level up. It's, we, we are a broad church and we, we cater for, for people of all, uh, all backgrounds. Um, yes, and I think just to give you all um, some background or context, um, I when I started learning etiquette, I had never taken an etiquette course in my life. And actually my first etiquette course ever was at the English Manor. So uh, with a lady, a tutor named Diana, who is still there and amazing, um, and a beloved colleague of, of William and mine. Um, and she's, yeah, so she was my first tutor and she's still there. So she's, you know, so I think you don't have to, and, and, you know, I was able to learn and study. I'm so passionate about it. And then over the years, open my own consultancy, which is the goal of this train the trainer program. So you don't need to have, um, you know, don't need to have any previous education or background. And it's really just, we're looking for people who are very passionate, who want to, you know, to really invest their, their time and, and resources on an in-depth program and one that you know uh, really we are will be so proud to see you out there working and with your own consultancies and cheering you on I think that we cannot wait for and and that's kind of our goal but to, to answer that long long-winded yeah. but yeah so as long as you are willing to learn that's the prerequisite and actually that that's something you know something that I had noticed a couple of years ago with, with there was one particular year I'll, I'll we'll keep it very vague where we had two students in particular who were lovely people, but I think they thought they could come on the train, the trainer program, and we would sort of put a microchip in their head and suddenly they'd learn everything. With any subject, whether it's etiquette, dentistry, maths, English, French, you have got to want to learn. You've got to want to put in the, the effort yeah. and retain the information, do your own studying and reading around the subject, as well as listening to, to what Mike and I and our other tutors have to say. Yes, and I see um, one question specifically about somebody wants to specialize in youth and, and children's teachings. Now, what this program will, will, will actually offer you, so you will learn at an adult level the etiquette um you know it's not specific to children or adults but we're teaching you you know at the at the most formal and highest level so you can always scale down we will have a section where we talk about you know the type of consultancy you want to start tips for that what a syllabus should look like for that um, but it's not specific to children. You're, we're giving you the most broad education on every single topic, and then you can choose what you would like to uh, teach in your consultancy and what you would like, you know, but that's something that we can give you guidance on, what a syllabus for a child or a children's course can look like, uh, what a teen course should look like versus an adult or a corporate. So we're giving you all the information for you then to go and kind of take what you need to start your own consultancy, if that makes sense. And what you can see now, this is this is the brochure. So if, if you're able to, you might already have this or you'll be downloading it later from our website. Um, you see that bonus module. Now the bonus module, it's not examined, so don't panic. You, there's no, it's not part of your final examination. Um, but this, these are the topics that we would give you in grade one. There's an additional bonus module in grade two, which is this, the second six month program. Um, but you can see the sort of things that we'll be talking about. And actually something that you are able to do, uh, it's not included within the investment, but there is a, a nominal fee that you can pay, is you can have coaching sessions, one-to-one -one coaching sessions with Micah, with me, or with any of our colleagues. So if you sort of thought, right, I want to run my business plan past William or Micah or whoever, or I want to talk just about napkins for an hour or whatever it happens to be, you can choose what that subject is. Uh, and use you can have as many of them as you like. Um, so we do tailor it in that way. Shall we, Micah, I think I would love to show a, a little preview, a sneak preview to everyone that's on this webinar, what the online classroom will look like. Yes. And we should say this is, so if you do grade one, the online only program, it's obviously all online and this is your, this is your, your hub where you will learn everything. We do, as, as people may know, we are offering an in-person and online course that's starting in July in London and then later on in the next year for New York and Singapore. And that's where you do five days in person with Micah, with me and with our colleagues and then it moves for the rest online. So it's still a six month program, 
but you get five days of in-person tuition at the start and then online. So what you are about to see is for both uh, the in-person and the, uh, the online only. And let me just click a few buttons here. And now hopefully you should be able to see the online classroom. Uh, it will slightly change uh, ever so slightly between now and January, but this is uh, what it's uh, more or less going to look like. You can see all the different sort of topics uh, and modules under here. And again, we, we will be adding to these uh, between now and then. Shall we look at, uh, so let's look at this one here. Why are first impressions important? This one is a video. So you get me talking about first impressions. And then what else should we look at, Micah? Oh, how about cultural differences in greetings? Uh, so this one here is when it loads. Uh, oh, it's at the bottom. Uh, so there we go. This is uh, different sort of, sort of PDF, and the PDFs are printable if you want to, to print them yourselves. Uh, there's audio. Uh, I think there's an audio one here, possibly. Yes, yeah, so this would be an audio, so you would hear us uh, talking about things. So that is the uh, that is the online classroom. So there's really so it's just it's a combination of live sessions, um, then pre-recorded sessions, uh, audio, just like you saw. So and and then you see like the brochures. Now all of that information that is a brochure or when it's a. <clears throat> When it's a PDF, you can print that out. Um, we do not, for the online training program, we do not supply the printed programming for you, but you can print out any and all of it. It's yours, it's up there. So you can make your own little, you know, your files. You can have that uh, to reference whenever you want. Now, yes, um, and then one question that came up, will there be a licensing fee? There will not be a licensing fee. So after you take this course, there's no licensing fee. You don't have to keep paying us time after time, nothing like that. I know some of the some programs out there um, do offer similar, but we um, are not doing that. So once you pay that fee, then that's the program cost. Um, if you choose to go on to the second level, the second, <clears throat> then that's an additional fee. Um, but you can see on the brochure what is included in grade two um, there. So for instance, included in grade two, you know, you get a little bit, um, you get a lot, a lot actually, um, in terms of the next level to start your consultancy, open your consultancy, you get the badge saying you were trained um, by us and you put that on your websites, little things like that, that's supplemental, but you have to complete grade one to finish to grade two. And that's really considered a master trainer at that point, but you do not need to take grade two, that's totally optional. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What we what we should just say about the licensing fee, you are obviously not then a div division or branch of the English Manor or Beaumont Etiquette. You'd have to come up with your own company name. Uh, so there's no franchise model uh, available. We should just make that clear because I know yes. I've spotted something um, there. Um, yeah, so, but, yes. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry. And also we will do we will do fun sessions like coming up with your name, how to come up with a clever name that will be we'll help you with things like that. You know, tell you how we came up with our names and um, things to watch out for. So we are guiding you not only we're not only teaching you etiquette and how to teach it to other people, but we're also giving you guidance about your consultancies, but you will not ever be Beaumont etiquette, you know, um, Dubai, the English Manor. Texas, it will be your own consultancy, but we will give you guidance on everything um, throughout both of the, the grades, which you can see how we divide it from how to market and PR yourself and your company to how to, um, you know, really get started. Yes. Yeah. Um, I think we it's time to take everybody's questions. There have been lots that have come in on the chat. There yeah. are loads that have come in privately. Just one I want to pick up immediately. Uh, someone has a uh, Dufan publicly has asked, um, but there's a company in Nigeria who we thought was your franchise. Um, being perfectly honest, uh, we were working with them until about two years ago. Uh, no longer they are our franchise. Is the is the short answer on that one? Um, so let's, Micah. You can read them all. Do you want me to read them out to you, or shall I just pick one? Uh, all the questions. Yeah. Let's see. Yes. Um, let's see. Okay. So. Um, all right, the certificate we will have in addition to accreditation. Um, so William, can you tell them a little bit about accreditation and what, if they will get a physical certificate or what they will get? Yes, so the uh, for grade one online, so if you do the course that starts in January and runs for six months, 
uh, you will get a digital certificate that will be high quality that you can arrange the printing off uh, if you want. And we've, why we've done that is to keep the costs down for you because printing and shipping costs, as you know, uh, aren't, aren't cheap. If you do the in-person course, you will get that certificate sent to you at the end once you graduate, uh, framed. For either of those options, um, in person or online, uh, you will uh, you get the certificate at the end because there are three um, tiers, three categories uh, of pass rate. The standard pass rate, which off the top of my head is 70%, so you would get the standard certificate. If you get 85% plus, that is a merit, so you get a pass with a merit. And if you get 95% plus, that is a distinction. The certificate would be the same. It doesn't get bigger, regardless of, of your rate, but it would just say with merit or with distinction. So shortly after the examination is marked and you get your result, you then get sent that certificate, either digitally for the online only program or in the post for the uh, grade one or grade two. Should you do grade two, we will, and that's purely online grade two, but we would send you that uh, in, uh, in the mail. So okay, that's okay. Good, I have another one. Um, so for how long am I going to receive access to the material? Yes, so uh, that, so you get, so the, the program, each program, grade one and grade two, whether it's in person or online, is six months, and you get an additional month off uh, once the examination is finished. So in effect, you get seven months access to the online material. And if you do grade one in person, uh, you obviously get the, uh, the training manuals and grade two as well, you would get them. But grade one online only is just the printable PDFs that you would be in charge of printing. Uh, okay, so one here that says, will you offer live Q&A during the program? The answer is yes. So we will have, um, once we send, so right now is the application process, we will let everybody know um, in November uh, about um, <clears throat> the uh, applications going through and then you will get an entire schedule we're very or very organized so you'll have a whole schedule a syllabus you'll know exactly what's coming and when so you'll know when the live programming is and plenty of time and again if you ever miss a live one you can re-watch re it but we'll have live programming throughout so that you can ask questions just like this um, there will be times where um, we can hear your voice and you will be speaking directly to us today We have um, quite a few people on the call So we just thought this chat function was easier and sometimes we'll be teaching and we'll have a chat open like this Where you can ask throughout so yes, you will have live options to speak with us and um, Again, we'll be guiding you. So it's a mixture of live and pre-record So obviously there for those that might have probably been able to work it out with work out the mass there are six modules within each grade and there are six months of learning so it's one module per month in terms of examined but the bonus module obviously that will come um, at some point throughout those six months but that isn't examined uh, and we've done that to drip feed you because we don't want to overwhelm you we are aware that people are have got their own other commitments as well to be doing uh, so it's sort of at the start of each month, more or less, you get the, the new module. Uh, so when you do log on in, in January, for those whose applications are accepted, you will just see module one, as well as sort of the, the nitty gritty, how do you schedule appointments, what's coming when, uh, and all that information. And I think, Mike, you and I sort of said that we would do catch up sort of uh, live webinars with everybody to catch up sort of every second module. Exactly. Um, I have one, um, William, let's see. Will this include the webinars that are offered at the English Manor each month? Um, so yes, the English Manor, our webinars, we have done, we, we can continue to do them and everybody on this webinar is uh, more than welcome to join. Go to our website, click on webinars if you want to know what's coming up. We have had a very uh, interesting range of topics that we have done. So I'll be honest, there is one webinar that we have we will be we have already put loaded onto the system the replay of, and that was a webinar that Diana, your your first etiquette tutor, and I did. It was a 45-minute webinar where we were talking about how to teach children and, and sort of the, the um, a different approach that you would need from adults. There is additional support on that topic that we will give, but we've put the replay as part of the system on there for that. 
Um, but some of the other ones, like, you know, we've, we've got one coming up on Christmas traditions. That's not part of the Train the Trainer. Uh, that, is, that is additional. But some of the more um, universal ones, such as dining etiquette, etc., there will be similar content from that, but delivered in a much more detailed way, because the webinars that we have been doing as the English Manor generally are not geared up for people that want to become etiquette tutors. So there's, there's, you know, there are things that we've held back. We haven't talked about how you teach this uh, or, or different ways. And, and also the webinars have been 45, 50, 60 minutes. We, this is obviously a six month program. Okay, great. Uh, the next one I can answer, do these courses target fashion etiquette and dress codes as well? And will there be any plans to give courses in Dubai or Abu Dhabi next year? So um, yes, these courses do include fashion, grooming, dress codes, all of this um, style, all of it's included. You know, can you wear, can you wear felt hats in summer? I mean, you name it uh, down to, you know, when to wear brown shoes versus black and everything in between will be covered. Um, but unfortunately, there's no plan at this time to have a course, an in-person course in Dubai or Abu Dhabi next year. The plan is London in July of 2021 will be in person and then and online, a mixture. And then we have Singapore and New York City coming up. Um, we have not released dates for those yet, but those are the only plans as of now, but that could change uh, depending on if um, we get more requests and we see big kind of groups wanting us to come to those countries. So yeah. William and I are packing our bags and we are so excited, but um, unfortunately not to Dubai or Abu Dhabi just yet. Yeah, and we, and we picked those, those three cities, not only because obviously you live in New York and I live in London, but, but also geographically, it's sort of fairly uh, equal throughout the world. So if you can't, you know, if you are Singapore side of the world, come to Singapore. If you're New York side of the world, come to New York and, and vice versa. Um, the question that's just come in um, is, is there an opportunity to connect with fellow classmates? Uh, yes, absolutely, especially during the, uh, the webinars is, is a great time to chat and we will be doing um, webinars on just how you're finding everything. Uh, obviously, if you wish to exchange your own contact information, that's fine, but we won't be sharing contact information of uh, the students for the online per, uh, course. Obviously, in person, you're all going to be sitting there um, looking and chatting to each other, so you're more than welcome to do uh, whatever you like. And actually, the, I had we had such a lovely the last train the train of the English Manor ever did in person, which is about a year year and a half ago, uh, before we supersized with um, with you, Micah. They they were such a lovely group. They really really bonded. There's there's a WhatsApp group I'm still part of now where they all chat and they share. They were they were super supportive of each other. Was um, that the Susie group? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. I popped in. I was in London, so I popped in and I got to meet them all. Um, that was such a good group. And they were out to lunch every day and dinner. Mm. They were that was really sweet. Um, but yes, there will be there will be chances to bond with your um, classmates. So another question, is this appropriate for someone who's interested in learning more about etiquette but not interested in opening a business? If not, what product would you suggest instead? Good question. Yes, I mean, we, we've had, certainly for English Manor, we, we've had people over the years who have come who don't necessarily or still are on the fence about whether they want to start training or not, um, but they just love etiquette and they want to learn more. This is the most, I can only speak for English Manor here, but this is the most comprehensive program that we will be offering for the near future. This, this is it. This is gold level, the most in-depth, the most thorough. Um, so yes, it yeah. is, absolutely. You don't have to do anything with it after you, you graduate at all. You can just sort of have it and uh, know that you have, you have passed yeah. with merit or distinction. And some people, you know, some people are not interested in opening an etiquette consultancy we've had government officials we've had um you know we've had people from schools we've had people from different uh, organizations an oil and gas company um, where they just wanted to be able to have somebody on the hr team that was really up to speed on all of these topics 
So we've seen a whole variation of that. Um, but if you are not interested in any of those things, then I would recommend personally an in-person course, whether I'm not sure where you're located, um, Amanda, but if you are in England or that part of the world, English Manor, if you're over here, come see us in New York. We also all fly internationally, um, pandemic, you know, um, able, but um, to you. So you can always take an in-depth course and then they're one-to-one -one and they are very, or you can take a group and they're very specific to your needs. <clears throat> okay. um, question here that came in privately, uh, who develops the examination questions? Is it a professional testing board? Uh, it's written predominantly by Micra and, and me. Uh, we write it, but we also have worked with and do work with educational specialists that we would run things by to check that we're asking the question in the right way. Um, our colleague Jimmy in particular is a former uh, head teacher of a, of a leading school in the UK in particular will we'll look at, the, I know he's looked at the old uh, examination that English Manor had to check that we were asking things in a, in a comprehensive and fair way. Yeah. Um, okay, are Zoom meetings with a course, uh, sorry, are there in-person Zoom meetings with course one online? Um, so there, for the online course, you are able to schedule that within the um, system. In fact, let me just check if that is uh, scheduled. Yes, let me just share my screen again so you can see that now. Mm -mm -mm. Here we go. Hopefully you can see that. So within, uh, you see at the top with the Welcome to Your Online Classroom, there is a, a form for you to complete if you want to have a, an online one-to-one -one online coaching session, which would be done on Zoom or similar. So you would be able to submit it on uh, online again through the classroom. So everything is through that portal. Obviously, you can email us directly, but it's a lot easier to go through that portal. So you would be able to, to do that there. And obviously, for the online program only, for online only, so the one starting in January, they are at a nominal additional investment. But with the online and in-person course, so the one in London, New York, Singapore, you get one included. And for grade two, you get two included. Okay, now William, I'm going into rapid fire mode because I want to make sure we get to as many questions yeah. as possible. Okay. Um, so let's, we'll just make these answers as short as sweet as possible so we can get to you all. Um, okay, so when is the deadline for applications? Uh, deadline is mid-November. Will there be practice lessons where we will practice teaching? Uh, we will give, so not for the online course uh, because it's online, but there will be advice on how to teach. And again, you could use one of your one-to-one um, -one sessions to do a practice lesson with us. Um, what is the average time devotion needed per week? Everybody learns at different speeds, so it's very hard to give a, a complete answer to that, but we would suggest five days per month is is given not solid days you don't need to be tied to your computer uh but five days a month is, is a good average again some some people will learn from my own experience and from micah some people learn sub subjects like that but struggle with other modules so right. it's hard to say exactly um and would it be possible to get the modules early for example february is a busy month uh they are really so if you start in january you get module one in january module two in February, module three in March, etc. But look, if, if February is busy, you don't have to have completed module two to get module three. You've obviously got to have completed them before the examination, but you could just bank everything and do all your learning in April or in June, for example, your choice. Okay, in the etiquette industry, what is considered a respectable education so that clients will be confident to book a training from someone who is starting out as an etiquette trainer? Hmm. Uh, good question. Um, it's, it's so hard to answer that question. I think clients certainly, get from, from my own experience with, with our clients, especially speaking to the corporate clients who, who do perhaps pitch around and, and talk to different companies, they just get a feel, uh, generally. They might have gone on word of mouth, they might have gone on website, but usually they say when they actually start contacting you, uh, and they interact with your staff and, and us in general, they get a Feel. And if you get a nice vibe, certainly for an internet company, that's yes. Good. And I also would add there that um, it's a lot of branding 
what is your brand? So I think, you know, uh, which we'll talk about in, you know, in the trainings, but it's, you know, what does your brand say about you? The first thing people do when they see or want to look you up, they go to your website. So what does your website say about you? Um, I also think, you know, if you're brand new and you, you, you haven't had any clients yet, you can do what I did, which is teach free courses. I literally did an entire, um, session, I probably did about five to 10 sessions for free and where I sent out emails. Anyone want to take a kid's class? Anyone take a teen class? And then I got feedback. Then I used those um, quotes that people gave and I put them on my website for, uh, you know, about my company and references. And that's how I started. And before you know it, you can have huge logos of some of the biggest banks in the world to say they're your clients. But everyone starts somewhere. And I think uh, we can talk a little bit more about that in the training. Um, to, and how really you attract clients, but what is considered a respectable education? Most certainly one with us. Yes, indeed. And, uh, you know, we do, the, the program is accredited with the, the, the British UK, you know, what's it, I can't remember, the Institute of Leadership Management, of uh, which if you do the uh, grade one in person, uh, you are automatically uh, a member of the Institute of Leadership, Leadership and Management for the first year, and then after that, you can choose to renew it or not. Um, so, you know, we are, we are accredited with a few organizations as well and the provider of training excellence scheme as well. And we both are actually, um, we are both part of the leading protocol schools of the world um, as well. So yeah. one thing there. Um, okay, Micah, what is your website address to download the brochure? It is um, www.beaumontetiquette.com. So Beaumont is spelled B as in boy, E-A-U. Oh, there we go. Um, Beaumont Etiquette, uh, so beaumontetiquette.com, and you can click on the top tab that says Train the Trainer, and it will take you straight there. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, another question. Um, will there be any scholarship opportunities for the program? Uh, unfortunately not, but we do offer a payment plan where you can um, pay the investment in three installments, and that's, again, all within the brochure and on the website as well. Uh, okay, a couple of time for a couple more here. What are the career opportunities after the course, um, if not opening an etiquette consultancy? So you could apply. You could definitely put this on your resume or CV, um, and you could go. You know, applying. I had somebody we worked with last year who was applying for the UN, and she got the position. Um, it could be anything government. You know, human resources. It's an amazing skill set to have. So, so it's it's quite varied there. Um, Let's see, I just want to see, what would be the additional cost for one-to-one -one tutoring? Uh, that's still being decided, to be perfectly honest, but it will be within uh, the online system. So when, when you open that application form, it will tell you exactly what it is. Um, question here, is there a waiting list for the in-person option, so the London, New York, Singapore, in case one misses the mid-November application deadline, if they don't know whether or not they can attend for sure. So yes, you can apply as of now for London, New York, or Singapore. That's fine. Obviously, we're not going to accept your application until spring next year when we get nearer the time. Predominantly, that is because of the pandemic. So we don't quite know, obviously, what's happening, but fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, similarly, if you are you just want to do the online course, but you are not ready for mid-November or to start in January, we will be running the online course again. Uh, probably in the, the latter part of uh, next year. So again, just keep an eye on the website, subscribe to our social media or mailing lists, uh, and you should know. Uh, okay, I have one here from Joy. Is the online dining portion live with video to make sure we are understanding correctly how to hold utensils and et cetera? Yes, it is. So there will be um, times there where, you know, we, we might split it into a smaller group. So we have what we'll call workshops where maybe William's with, with one group and I'm with the next. And we're literally, okay, let's, you know, index drop and twist and everybody show me. Okay, Joy's turn, Sarah's turn, Carrie's turn, Frank's turn, Alex's turn, great. Um, and we'll make sure, uh, we'll definitely make sure. We don't want you teaching anything that is incorrect and that will be the top and utmost um, importance to us. Absolutely. Um, Catherine has said, will we be trained in both British and American etiquette? Yes, and European as well. Um, there are three grades of etiquette in particular for dining etiquette. British, European, and American. Now, British and European, that's not a Brexit thing, I should just point out. They have, in dining etiquette, there are, there are three distinct styles. So we, it will be all encompassing, especially in dining etiquette. 
Um, related to the answer about your other in-person programs, do either of you have an estimate when your other trainings may potentially resume? Um, ours have resumed. Uh, so we are taking in-person clients, uh, working with corporates and also doing virtual training. And William, I believe the same. Yeah, we absolutely. Back, yeah, we're we're back in stuff. We can, government, obviously we're always following government guidelines here in the UK. We can do private trainings and small groups, but in terms of public set date schedule courses, certainly for us here, that will be next year. Um, um, for those of us interested in starting a business teaching etiquette, what do you think the, the, the demand is for this type of instruction in the coming two to three years? I personally, um, I think it will be high post COVID. I think COVID has hit everybody. I think it is not, um, you know, I think the great thing is that this course is six months starting in January. And so by the end of that, you know, I think hope, or, you know, crossing fingers, there's no way to, to truly know. Um, but we hope things, you know, there will be a vaccine, things, you know, will open as usual. Um, I think William and I both can can say that we both have very successful and very busy consultancies where we have hired um, many colleagues and employees uh, to, to keep up with the demand. So if done correctly um, and outside of the pandemic, I think there is a great demand. But in all fairness, we do have these next six months to get through, which is actually probably pretty good, so that we come out of the gates. Yes, absolutely. Um, I'm going to pick one final question, Mike. I don't know if you'd like to do the same as well. Okay. This one is from Taylor. Um, if one enrolls in the online program, is it possible in effect to add on the five day in person session in the summer in London, New York, Singapore? Um, yeah, we haven't advertised that, but yes, of course. Um, if we would, we would give the option to our grade one online students from January if they do wish to then come and meet us in London, New York or Singapore for a small additional investment. Yes, absolutely. But we'll we'll cross that bridge uh, when we get there. But I'm sure that is fine. We'd be delighted to meet you all in person. Um, OK, and then let's see. Um, let me see. There's so many. I wish I could answer all of them. But let me just say this. How about, how about I just use the, the last moment just to say that if you did not get your question answered today, you can email. Um, again, here we go. We're putting up the screen now. You can email the English Manor or Beaumont Etiquette. Both we've got support on either side. It pretty much um, it doesn't matter where you email. And um, we will get back to you. So either office at the English Manor .com or hello at Beaumont Etiquette .com. Um, and we will answer all your questions, but do make sure that you get your applications in. Once applications are in and we have confirmed the uh, students, we will not be accepting last minute applications. Um, so that was that's something that I think is important because once we have you all on board, the onboarding process will be something that's unique to each student and we want to make sure everybody feels um, you know they've got all the tools and or they're organized they know how to use all the platforms that we'll be using which we've got a great technical support system here uh, between the two of us to help you with so um there we go william has up on the screen there what is this one this is the application uh, form that you it's not nothing too uh, strenuous it's your name address profession uh, next of kin information is irrelevant if you're applying for online but if you're applying for in person we obviously need to know who to contact uh, and a few quick questions and then you apply so and that's the same form whether it's Beaumont you apply via Beaumont etiquette or English manner it's the same uh, application form it's there's a 40 pound British pound which is about 50 US dollars application fee that is then redeemed if you're accepted on the course that's redeemed against the, the final investment should for whatever reason you not be accepted then obviously that is refunded and what qualifies, um, I guess the last question I'll choose here, what, what, how, what happens? Will you get turned down? What's the, um, really it's not about, um, it's not about uh, in terms of what makes you applicable to get into the program. It's more just to make sure we have the resources and we take the amount of students that we can and that the teacher to, um, the instructor to student ratio is appropriate. We want everyone to feel like this is small group training and customized and, and very specific to the groups and that you know we don't want to have a program where you don't feel like you can ha have your questions answered. Um, so it's going to be small group training and you know 
if we do have a wait list um, because of that, um, then we will let those people know, but it would be first come first serve and, and simply that. And that's the only reason why we do have an application process to make sure we can accommodate teacher to student ratio. And we will, it, should you not have applied yet, we will be emailing those that have registered interest near the time to say, final, you know, last chance, if you'd like to, to apply, please get your application in. But we do recommend doing it sooner rather than later. We have had quite a lot of applications already, uh, which Yay! is incredibly flattering, and we are really looking forward to working with everybody starting in January or in London, New York, or Singapore in the second half of next year. And really getting to know you all. It's going to be so fun. Um, so, so fun. And I think if you have anything we can, any suggestions, we're also open to suggestions to make sure this is an amazing program for, for all. So thank you, everyone. And uh, we look forward to seeing many of you, hopefully, in January. Uh, and get those applications in. And we can't wait to, um, to meet you all soon. Thank you, and uh, the replay will be with you very, very shortly after this webinar comes to an end if you want to go back and uh, say anything that we've said again. Thank you, Micah. Thank you, William. See you all soon.